today. I'm gonna go and record lions with Craig. And I'm excited. Let's go. Wobbly train. Hey! <laughs> you never get used to that. <laughs> so I got a deck of cards. Yeah. Do you see my trick? Yeah, go on. I've been learning, right? You can take the bottom of the card off like that and flick it up and catch it. There's a better one. That's as much as I know. There's a better one. Can what you flick it? and catch? Uh, no, I can spin one on my finger. Can you really? Like, can help. It took my head off. So, the way you do it. Nice shuffling, by the way. Thanks. So if you say, tell me when to stop. Stop now. Is, I, do you want me to tell you or not? I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> you <Sorry. tap> right. <laughs> Don't need to tell you. So okay, I've seen this trick before. I know you're going to pick the Queen of Clubs. Do you? Yeah. So if you tell me when to start, and don't be generous, you know. Stop. <sighs> and you can force a card. Not magic related YouTube channel. <laughs> we need a rebrand, that's what it is. Rebrand, just get a logo on the top hat. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit coming out of it. At least you don't do that really shitty star wipe that some people do. Every single video starts with a star wipe. No, it does, it's a joke. <laughs> Maybe plagued with production problems from the start. <laughs> what was the issue? Chris. <laughs> Chris was <laughs> mostly the issue. I always assume that the answer to that question is Chris. <laughs> It's like, what's that? Oh, it looks like a microphone, it'll do. <laughs> <laughs> it's the metronome. The offer. The offer. Leave right now. That was a good take. Right, okay. You, generation reward. You make me sick. Get out. Get the hell out of the Midland Hotel. I like that. Yeah, well, how do you know about the offer? Okay, and what about you? That's that purple. And she's like, what, what, no, 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 no. He's backtracking a bit. He's like, I'm sorry, you know. Okay, so firstly, I'd like to massively apologize. I, I didn't mean to accuse you. The bill tonight, let me take care of it for you. And, and you know what? I overheard you talking about the El Diablo cocktails. Let me make some for you, please, on the house. Gesture of goodwill. Well done, man. Yeah, that's sick. That is in Widowmaker, because I saw that when I was reading, I was like, how am I gonna laugh? <laughs> <laughs> it's the very least I can do. I didn't mean to explore at you there. <laughs> Sorry. It's like an uncomfortable laugh, isn't it? The yeah. Least. The Midland Hotel. She's got a dark history, you know. This is a monster. <laughs> See, it was an eccentric group of magpies that originally owned the hotel. I mean, right back in the days before death was a regulated industry. I remember when we opened, I was so proud. The hotel quickly became busy. I mean, this place, man, you should have seen it. The management at the time put an incentive on. 13 family members passed through the doors of the Midland Hotel and we will give you one of your family members a new lease of life. It was a good incentive, you know. Give to someone that needed it. We had stockpiles of the lifetime excesses anyway. Guests left stuff all the time. Nice stuff too. And then boom, came the scandal. I think that's the one. Yeah. People were disappearing from planets all across the galaxy. Nobody had any idea why. The unsolvable crime, it was called in the news. Terrible, it was really terrible. Magpies. The clientele that had been checking in didn't realise that the Midland was the last hotel. Poor death. She was taking guests without their consent. Complete surprise to everyone, it was. The magpies were pocketing the power and the money victims left behind. Very successful it was too. People just kept on coming and coming and coming. Busloads. The magpies had turned death into a multi-level marketing scheme offering free weekends away. Get 13 people on a free night at the Midland Hotel and the day you check in there will be an offer you can't refuse. Even now I get the sickles that helped out asking what the reward is. I like that. It's Bang great, on. isn't it? Bang on. Yeah. Just, list, just listen through it and just, I slapped my knee. Oh, did you? And I, didn't, I don't know if you can hear Panto it. Panto style. Hang on. Well, not exactly like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Gosh, you know. <laughs> it's so dark, isn't it? There's an underlying sinister edge. Like he's seen it all before. He shouldn't be this casual talking about it. Do you know, well, yeah, he's Do been there I mean? forever doing it, hasn't he? Yeah, it doesn't phase him anymore. Hell's Premier Hotel. So the Diablo cocktails, the idea is you drink them and you go to hell briefly. But when yeah. you come back, there's like a dopamine release Do yeah. and you get a scratch card. <laughs> yeah, you get a scratch card. 
Scratch, scratch. Step right up, win a prize, win a prize. <laughs> well, I mean, you're not going to go to hell for a drink, are you? Oh. You've got a scratch card at least. Anyway, less of that. Your drinks. El Diablo cocktails. That was pretty badass the way you said that. Do you think, though, I think there's probably things like this in the, in, down the line. You know, if you're not confined to 100 years, if you could live multiple 100 years. In chunks? If you have Ben Bones, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. You'd, do, you'd see like this everywhere. Oh, down in one, sir, is a risk taker. Here you are, your scratch card. Excellent. And here's your scratch card. I wish you the best of luck on what you receive. I'll take your glasses from you. Enjoy. The Midland is a wonderful host. She can live a thousand years in a day and a day in a thousand years. May I ask, is tonight the night, sir? Are you cashing it in? Your winning ticket? Oh, excellent. Tonight we drink the good champagne. Is that two glasses? Yeah, because like the lines yeah. before. So what I've done, you, you know magic? You, like, you, with the cards, you move them back and forth and stuff like that. I've started to try and do that with sentences in language. So that, this is kind of like a fold-in joke. So it comes out from three different angles. Okay, yeah. It's original. Unexpected. Oh, isn't it exciting? I wonder what game you will be playing. Are you going to pick or let it be a surprise? Two glasses? Brilliant. That's the throwaway. This is where the comedy comes oh, in. Oh, you want a bit of meth? No, not you. You yeah. want to hear me struggle with this imaginary champagne bottle? I want you to go full Jim Carrey on this. Oh, the champagne cork. It's a tough one. That was brilliant. It's really... Did you ruin that by cackling at the end? I don't think you did. I think that was oh, spot the fuck Should on. we keep that one? Yeah. I love that. That's brilliant, man. I like that a lot. It's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's yeah, brilliant. The cork... It's fired off and shot skittles in the nose. Oh, my. Oh, oh no. There's uh, there's blood everywhere. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. I'll get a towel. Here you go. Your gin cocktails. How's he getting on? That sounds casual. You've become a casual person now. Casual Craig, every single time. Casual, yeah. <laughs> casual Craig. Have a little bit of casual Craig. I am wearing a jumper. <laughs> and it's true. We do have a lot of those kind of life trinkets. Too much S. There's well too much S in there. It's just how I say my S. We do have a lot of those kind of life trinkets. I struggle with that, say, that word. Change trinkets. Well, it's, it's a trinket. I can't say trinkets. What am I going to call it? I don't know. There's a lot of S's, it's just how it is. Well, it's a borderline I mean, list. To be fair. You're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> You're just going to have to deal with it. I can't help how I talk. Look. I cannot help it. <laughs> I, 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 you do the line. How about that? You do it. Right, so the idea is that uh, Duke has gone to the underworld and he's just stopped at a service station for piss and it all kicks off and because it causes the nippy zombies to have a stampede. <laughs> cool. I am eight. Good night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I mean, so the zombies speak. Good, good. I've recently become dead too. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? No. no. <laughs> okay. You want to do it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that do. <laughs> it, it really works, doesn't it? Cool, mate. You had a good night? Yeah. <laughs> it's everything and more. It really is. Glad you're having fun. Aren't you? Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I recently became dead too. It's not too bad, is it? No. <laughs> That's the one, man. Sorry about that. Bit of splashing in your leg there. Long journey. You know how it goes. Wee. <laughs> you keep chasing me around the loose and then Guru puts a load of water over the floor and you run along and you go whoop but you're knocked out so I turn around and go it's slipped do you think it's dead and Guru turns around and goes it looks pretty dead to me there's green blood coming out of him and then they both kind of lean over and have a look and you go head yeah I think so, man. You think so? You don't even know. I don't know, man.
Uh, I've never met an iffy zombie before. I didn't even think they were a real thing until I hallucinated one up. Do you know what I'm trying to try and eh? No. You rebel. That's a very good signature. Good. It's the most rock star one so far. And also, you can tell what your name says. The other ones you can't really understand. What do you think that says? Barry. Got it for a fire off a 12 year old. Did he authorise the sale or did you just steal it and throw a fire at him? <laughs> I mean, there was a bit of both. Deal's a deal. <laughs> Craig's signing it now. Immortalised. Forever. You'll get four pounds off eBay. Four pounds. Go on, lad. Holy doofy. What does that mean? Goofy stuff. Is that what this is? Well, you're right handed dominant, aren't you? Probably, but I've started to think that there's a lot more storyline in my left. Uh, you know what I mean? Oh!